Coaching hockey is all about encouraging players to commit to a collective goal. I work with my clients to help them achieve financial success with their goals in mind. Well, I think when you keep pressing uh, for the majority of the game, the good things are going to happen. And uh, you know, Fuchs played really solid for us. He made some key saves, and um, you know, I thought their goalie played really well. Was, you know, just like Fuchs, I think um, you know he deserved the first start tonight. Um, he made some big saves for them, but you know, we, we were pressing the whole game and we were really peppering him. And I think um, you know, definitely deserved it. Tell me about the, the overtime uh, as, as a developer from your perspective. Um, I think Joe tried to hit me in the middle and uh, he fanned on the pass and um, I was ready to get my horse and go on the back check and looked over my shoulder again and he was, and he was coming in the slot so um, just tried to get open for the pass. Honestly, I was about to shoot and I saw him at the corner of my eye in the back door and um, you know, he was screaming for it and I'm glad he did and uh, you know, he, he makes definitely those things look easy and he's an unbelievable player and um, I thought it was really, really solid give and go play and um, it's really fun to score with, with Joe. It's, uh, it's definitely a cool feeling. What was the feeling coming up with the overtime? They had scored with four minutes to go, left in regulation, but yet Moosets had had lots of chances and were dominating in many ways, and yet you're going into a, a sudden death. Well, just like it says in our t-shirt, uh, we try to stay in the moment, create the moment. So uh, what's in the past is in the past, and uh, even though they had the last goal before going in the o OT, we just uh, left it in the past and focused on a shift on a shift ahead of us, and took it one shift at a time. And uh, we had a couple of good chances there, uh, even earlier in the, in the overtime. And uh, we we knew if we stick to it, it's gonna fall our way at, at one point. Conrad, I couldn't help but think the high and the low uh, earlier in the game. Uh, one moment you're making a pass at the middle, hit Nate in the back of the leg, they score, power scores, and two minutes later you tie it. Uh, well, just like I said, we, we try to live in the moment. Uh, of course, I was I was mad at myself for uh, screwing up that play, but I knew that I couldn't be uh, mad at myself and thinking back on that play. And uh, so I just tried extra hard to get back in the game and uh, give our our team a chance. And uh, I was happy to do that uh, by scoring the goal and got a great feed from Brent and uh, redeem myself there. And uh, from there, I just uh, kept playing my game. What was the feeling like when Jonathan scored? Uh, it was such a relief, like uh, it's just a long, long game and uh, we were happy it's over and it fell our way. And uh, I know I just threw my hands up in the air and uh, started running on the ice screaming uh, happy as I could be.